All right, guys, so this video is going to be a walkthrough of this template right here. Okay, this is just essentially a way for you to track your mistakes when you're doing those past papers. Okay, specifically for A level maths and science. All right, I'm going to use chemistry as my example, but it's just an example. It applies to every single subject that you do. Okay, now if you don't care about this walkthrough um, and explanation, just click the link in the description, download the template. It is pretty self explanatory. But for any of you guys that want to see like my thought process and how I would use it myself, then carry on watching. So some of you might be asking like, why, why would I track my mistakes? Okay, what is the purpose of even bothering to track my mistakes? Because my revision time is precious and this is gonna take a little bit of time, okay? The reason is, let's say you're going through your past paper, right? So let's say paper one, 2021, which um, this is an example for, for chemistry OCRA, okay, 2021. You're going through it, you've done it. You've done it under time conditions or whether you didn't do it under time conditions, it doesn't really matter. And then you go through it, the mark scheme, and you mark your paper. This is really important that you mark your own papers, okay? Or you got your teacher or tutor to do it, whatever, right? When you're going through the paper, if you're not taking note of what you're getting incorrect, you're not gonna to know where you need to focus. And if you don't know where you need to focus, you're not gonna improve that quickly. You're just gonna be spinning your hamster wheel round, um, getting the same grade paper after paper. OK, you may improve, but it's going to be a lot quicker if you do this. OK, so with that out of the way, let's go for an example. OK, so this one again is example of paper one chemistry OCRA 2021. So what you want to do, first of all, let me get rid of this, is you want to rename this to the subject. So let's say we're doing chem and you want to duplicate. OK, and you want to duplicate it for all your subjects. So let's say you do chemistry, physics, maths. All right. Duplicate it again. Rename, maths, done, okay? Let's say you, this is three random examples of subjects, okay? Now, what you wanna do is you wanna go to your examples website or physics and maths tutor. Hopefully you guys, this is super basic stuff, but if you weren't aware, you can find the papers through there, okay? So you go to website and you wanna put which paper it is, okay? Say for example, paper one is, is, is our example. 2021 is the year, okay? Let's say you're doing paper three, 2018, whatever it may be, okay? That's your example. Question number. So I picked a random question number. Um, I think it was 17B. I just picked it out at random because it was a six marker um, level of response for transition metals. Okay, some people struggle with that concept, uh, that topic, but it's just an example. This applies to anything. It could be an integration in at Excel maths. It could be um, a genetics question or evolution question, whatever it may be for biology. It doesn't matter. Okay, it's just the question number. So this was 17B and it was part II, okay? Topic is optional. Again, I know what the topic is, transition metals, okay, or transition elements, whatever you want to call it. In maths, it might be integration, okay. In um, biology, it might be homeostasis, whatever it is, right? You want to put the topic. I'll explain why in a second, okay. Question type is optional. Let's say it was a transition metal topic and it was drawing isomers, okay. Uh, let's say, get rid of this integration one. But let's say you're doing a topic in biology, whatever that topic is, it doesn't really matter. But it was a graphical question, all right? Or it was in biology and it was a calculation-based question or something right here, okay? Now, let's say you have an afternoon and you are doing biology. Um, obviously, this is within the chemistry tab, so you do it in that own tab. And you want to focus specifically on graph-based questions. What you can do is you can click this little thing right here. Um, exactly the same if you want to open this in Excel, but this is in Google Sheets. And you would click get rid of calculation, get rid of drawing isomers, and you would only have the graph-based questions. Obviously, hopefully there's paper one, uh, 2017, whatever it may be, all the way down here, and you have a bunch of graph questions to practice because that is what you struggle with. You're not really that great at graphs. Or maybe you've got a stats-based question, okay? Or maybe in chemistry, you've got an organic mechanism-based question, okay? Whatever it is, and you can focus a little bit further beyond the topic, okay? So, Let's get rid of the, uh, if you want to get these back, you just click it and retick them. Okay, so let's get rid of all this and we'll focus on our transition metal example. Okay, it wasn't just drawing isomers, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. Now, what's really important here is your first attempt date. Okay, and this is essentially what was the first time you did this question. Okay, you, if you're using this log, um, this, this sort of tracker for the first time, you probably have already done pr questions previously, but the, for the purposes of this, you can go through past papers you've already done. Hopefully you've saved them, whether you did them physically as a paper, you printed them out, 
or you've got them in your notebook or whatever, you should hopefully realize the marks that you got. If not, just start from fresh and put in whatever date you did this. Okay, let's say after you download this template, you got the 26th of May, 2024. That was our first attempt. How many marks did we get? Okay, so let's say, for example, we got three out of the six marks. I'll put three out of six right here. Okay, now we've done this first line, really, really simple, okay? This comment box, the purpose of this is to essentially identify where you're losing the marks. Okay, so we know we got three out of six marks, but what do we want to focus on? And by doing this, you're going to, you're, you're essentially actively revising on your mistakes and it's going to sort of cement them in your brain a lot more. Okay, so let's say you went to this and you, you got three out of six marks for this question. Okay, so what do we need to do? Determine the formula of A and B, write the ionic equation for the ligand substitution and show 3D structures for the three stereoisomers. Okay, what you want to do is you want to go to the mark scheme, find the question. So we're going to scroll down to 17B part II and we're going to look where the marks are available. And let's say, for example, we did this. That was really easy percentage composition. We got that done. We got the formula correct. We got the formula of B correct, but we really struggled with the ionic equation. We, we messed up on the charges. We messed up on the mole ratios, whatever it may be. Okay. And also we have the isomers right here. Again, this is a chemistry example. It could be physics. It could be mass, biology, whatever. Okay. So let's say what you would do in this box here is you go back to here and say, got the ligand sub ionic equation incorrect. Pay attention to charges next time. And then let's say you mess up the isomers, right? And you, you drew them um, either the trailing and uh, trailing bonds or the bonds coming towards you, you drew them incorrect way round, or you drew it up and down instead, it, you just drew it incorrectly, right? They weren't, they weren't the perfect isomers that you should have got to do the mark. So you could say, uh, drew isomers incorrectly, remember by dente positions. Whatever it is, this is just an example of this question, right? So that's really important to make a note because you're thinking, you're actually thinking, okay, where did I go wrong here? Okay. And that's essentially what you want to do for all the questions that you can. If it's little one markers here and there, don't worry about it too much. But specifically when you're losing things like three, four, five marks, it's really important that you take a note of your mistakes. And then once you've done this and you've banged out a bunch of past papers, like it's all the way down here, you've done all paper two, paper three, and you come back to this, right? Let's say you come back to it a week later or something like that. And it's like third of June, third of June, 2024. And you do it for the second time, ideally before this, but let's say just an example, third of June. And this time you got five out of six marks. Okay. You're still messing up the charges, but you got the isomers correct this time. Okay. So you got five out of six marks. Okay. And then you would leave a follow-up comment. Still mess up the damn charges on the ligand sub equation or whatever it is. Leave a note, talk to yourself, like be yourself, talk to yourself. Um, and it will help you remember even more. Or maybe you got six out of six marks this time. Okay. Six out of six. Easy mate. Done. Okay. You don't even have to leave a comment, but with time you should improve. Okay. Again, this is just not for chemistry. You, get, you can go do the exact same thing, but let's look at LXL maps, right? Let's say you really struggled with whatever it may be. Uh, this, this curve question, turning points, right? Maximums. Um, part A, find the X coordinate of P, give the answer to three sig figs. Let's say you, you did the question, but you gave your answer to four sig figs, as an example. You didn't read the question properly. You'd leave a comment to yourself in here saying, dumbass, read the question next time, okay? whatever it is, and you'd go through the mark scheme, go through the exams report, and do the exact same thing as you would with chemistry, okay? And you can filter everything, okay? So whatever it may be, whatever you wanna focus your revision in the morning, in the afternoon, whatever it is, you can even focus it to entire papers. So go to paper, and then let's say you have a few different ones, paper two, paper three, you wanna focus only on paper three, uh, only on paper two today. Get rid of paper one, I don't care about that. Then you only have your paper two mistakes. All right. You may want to do it a bit less crazy organized than me. I really struggle with organization just naturally as a human. <laughs> so if you are a lot more organized naturally, um, you may want to get rid of a few of these columns and keep it more simple. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did like the video, download the template in the description. All the best with your revision and exams, guys. Until next time, peace.